Hi Taurus, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. And they see you as a bit of a heartbreaker, um, someone who they can't um, quite trust. Um, you could be, doesn't mean that's who you are, but it's how their first impression of you. Um, someone who's quite fun loving, um, very entertaining, uh, light, breezy energy, a bit um, quirky in your ways, but someone who also stands out with that fool, but also someone who doesn't uh, like to carry a lot of baggage with them. A very carefree, independent energy, but they also see you as someone who has a lot of options um, and you're focused elsewhere is what I'm what they see so perhaps when you meet potential suitors your focus isn't entirely on them or that is how you come across some positive traits as a lover so strength king of pentacles you're very grounded stable a perfect a long-term partner um, strength someone very strong a compassionate um, someone who has a lot of endurance can really hold um, themselves together in a situation of crisis a very beautiful energy but also someone who is quite independent that's um, shown up here quite a bit actually throughout your reading um, but someone who is uh, quite career focused but, has their money together you're you're happy on your own um, I think it's you don't exactly need someone but if someone were to come towards you it would it would be an extra in your life you're very content as a lover but you're also someone who's quite I'm getting a sensual grounded energy is that your strength as a lover beautiful someone who's quite confident within themselves as well um what makes you difficult to love so we have four of pentacles eight of swords eight of swords can be anxiety but also some an overthinker so perhaps you don't express as much um tauruses can known be known to close off and my dad is a taurus so i know a little bit about them but if something's bothering them they kind of they they prefer to handle it on their own. They are strong enough to handle it, but it's telling you you need to express yourselves more, um, not hold back as much. And also if you are known to be possessive or a jealous type, uh, sometimes Taurus can be quite possessive. It's telling you to ease off a bit. Um, what you can do to change this, we have Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, um, um, that just talks about being light and free. Um, Six of Cups is a very childlike, but also expressing yourselves in the bedroom is one aspect. But being more excited, if there was some creative um, project or something you're into when you were younger, it's almost telling you not to let really keep that inner child alive. It's the small things that matter in life and they really take out time to enjoy those things um what kind of men or women you attract in your life we have magician two of cups five of wands so magician it can be manipulative but very controlling um people that are emotionally manipulative um it could be that things start off really well where you feel like you can have it all with the person but then you realize there's either they have a wandering eye or there's you have to fight for their attention but there's a lot of perhaps ego clashes or competitiveness that sort of thing is what you attract to you what you need to attract in a man or woman we have queen of wands seven of wands six of wands so it literally could be an aries leo sagittarius you need but someone who's quite different um, than you um, someone who can provide you with a lot of inspiration um, excitement but also someone who's very confident and has a lot going for themselves um, someone who's a great protector someone who won't give up on you easily um, this is queen of wands seven of wands knows 
his or her worth. Um, they're not swayed easily. Um, they're opinionated, so they really do stand up for themselves. And if they believe in something, they will fight for it. They don't give up easily. And the Six of Wands talks about victory um, in career, but also someone who's quite self-assured um, and celebrated as a person. Very, very successful is what you need um, when you may meet your future lover. So we have Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. So that can be between four and ten months. But what I'm getting intuitively is this will happen very quickly. And your next person is um, the one or your marriage partner with that Four of Wands, Ten of Cups talks about long-term commitment, but also celebration. So a wedding, I see a quick wedding. So Eight of Wands is sometimes love at first sight, but it's quick movement and it's sudden. So I think a lot of it has to do with you when you decide you're ready but this will happen very fast you won't see it coming type of energy is what i'm getting okay taurus i want to see we'll start off with um who your new lover is as a person but i want to get a chinese zodiac sign for this person's energy and we'll start with that taurus singles new love interest Okay, we had one fly out so we'll take it let's see what that is that is the dog nice loyal so we have yang metal your next partner we have loyal faithful and brave a follower not a leader usually modest respectable and restrained a dog can sometimes be impetuous i don't know what that means i'll have to look it up may suppress feelings and become prone to depression Dogs set high standards for themselves and others. Dogs are always willing to help others and are generous to a fault. So those are some qualities your uh, new person may have. But let's get more about their personality from tarot. Taurus singles. New future love partner. For a single. Okay, let's get. Why? This person could have been married prior or they're dealing with an ex is what I'm getting. Yeah, some sort of divorce or something happening here. But as a person, this person is highly uh, confident. They could travel for work, but this is someone who's quite self-assured, uh, can be a bit egotistical at times. Strong Leo Libra here. A very hardworking individual you may meet at work. Yeah, um, very dark. You're attracting what you we had in your first spread um, because we had what you need. We had the, king, the Queen of Wands and Seven of Wands, and this person is being represented by the King of Wands and Seven of Wands. Yeah, this, this is your long-term um, partner. They can be a bit um, argumentative at times, but extremely faithful. So if they invest um, or decide on you, um, they, they won't give up on you fast. This is someone who will be with you through thick and thin. 
um, they really will and they will fight for you is what I'm getting they can be a bit um, jealous or possessive as a person um, let's see what else we can ask um, okay let's ask their intentions um, what they want from a lover a potential lover love partner um, physical characteristics something about their profession let's ask the yeah, first impression will the attraction between you both be instant let's ask will the attraction between Taurus singles and their new person be instant yes yes <laughs> yes um, you both will see an opportunity with each other right away um, if this is a workplace uh, it doesn't have to be but uh, yes strong flirty vibes from the get-go this is a small expression of love but it's usually very fun and fun loving type of energy um what does this person expect from a love partner um someone who's not overly overtly emotional um someone who's content within themselves very independent they have their own finances um someone who's not clingy or needy yeah someone who has it all together Yes, that is what I'm getting for what they want in a lover. Very straightforward there. Your first impression of this new love when you first lay eyes on them. This is a workplace um, scenario. I'm getting that school work you'll love you'll really like them right away we did have the page of cups as your mutual energy but it's almost as if you're a little bored and stuck and this person uh, is a bit of a awakening for you here they'll bring some excitement towards you you may get a bit of a flighty or player like vibe from them so you won't trust them uh, yeah, yeah, you, you're you seeing them as, they'll be open to you, but to a certain extent. It, this will take time for this to build, um, for that trust to develop between you both. But you will have a flirty, uh, carefree vibe between you both uh, from the get-go. What will their first impression of Taurus be? They'll see you as stuck in some situation. <laughs> this is showed up for how you come across to the opposite or same sex. Yeah, that this. This is an instant connection is what I'm getting. I think you both will be feeling a bit lonely because this is two people out in the cold, a bit stuck in your respect. I don't know, it's your career school, but there's not much going on. Um, this, it's this, this is hope, inspiration, a chance meeting, that sort of energy. And this is someone who's, um, quite compassionate as a person but someone who is well in control of their emotions so i think you'll overall come across as someone who's uh, fun loving childlike beautiful light energy coming from you uh, let's see physical characteristics of this person
who very this this can be someone who's a bit uh, he's he or she's darker than you very mysterious alluring appearance could be a, a bit of an exotic look to them Yeah, someone who changes up their appearance quite a bit. Magician is not very telling. But this image has dark hair, curly hair. Yeah, I'm getting either a golden brown skin or very light skin. I'm getting two extremes. But let's get more physical appearance. Taurus singles. Quite athletic. Yeah, this they, this person, if it's a man, they have a beard here. Dark hair, I'm getting. Yeah, dark black or brown hair. But someone who's very mysterious looking. This person has a, their eyes will really stand out to you. This, this man has very um, big, beautiful eyes, but a lot of hair on both of these depictions. This is that tall, dark, handsome vibe I'm getting from this person. They're very attractive. They have a, a, a depth to them, something that mysterious. It's sexually alluring they'll pull you towards them especially the way they look at you um taurus is what i'm getting what does this person do professionally what is their profession could be a family business change in direction okay Perhaps they were in a family business and with change in direction, now they're in some field where they need to communicate. It says an opportunity in a different direction is opening up for you. Don't be afraid to go down a new path. Let your intuition be your guide. Oh, this is giving us uh, quite a bit. This person could be a vet. Dealing with children or pets. This could be a healer of some sort. Someone in the healing field. We have... We have... Uh, wow. <laughs> Finances, family, communication. But they could have been in some family biz business. But they're moving towards perhaps the a communication or finances sector. But also um, counselor, teacher, healer. That sort of thing. With raise your vibration. So we're, we actually have a lot of different professions here. Yeah. Um, I think that is, we covered everything. That is what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. I love these types of reading. They're a lot of fun. But take care of yourself and I'll see you later. Bye.